The digital release of Across the Spider-Verse has about a dozen little changes from the theatrical version, which is kind of a bizarre thing to do, especially since some of them are not minor changes. Personally, I wasn't too bothered about any of them except this one. Miles in Mumbatton goes against Gwen's wishes, saves the captain, breaks cannon, but before we see that he succeeds, Gwen thinks he's dead and she goes searching for him in the rubble. Here's the theatrical version. Miles! And here's the digital version. So they cut Gwen panicking like crazy, freaking out trying to find Miles. That needs to be there. Gwen is seeing her worst fears come to life again, and those lines show that she thinks that history is repeating itself. No. What did you do? Her best friend tried to bite off more than he could chew and got crushed by rubble and is gonna die in her arms again. And then Miles surviving shows her that Miles is different from Peter. Her past is different from her present. That is why she tells Miles he's amazing afterwards. And also this is a subtle but meaningful step in Gwen breaking out of canon mentality. And also Miles assuming that identity of breaker of canon. And saying that even though it's not actually canon, it still is the spirit of canon. This is the Han shot first of Spider-Verse in my opinion. And I won't stand for it. Change it back, Sony.